guys, thanks for clicking on the video today. My name is Maria and I'm back with another video. Y'all, today I wanna to talk about fall makeup trends. Um, I think I said in a previous video that I wanted to kind of give my top 10 looks for fall, um, but I haven't done that. Um, and we're already in the middle of the month. And this is something that I wanted to have completed by the end of October. So I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I wanted to come on and give you guys my first two looks out of my top 10 looks for fall. Now these looks are gonna be inspired by Fashion Week or Fashion Month. Um, some of you may know we are coming off the big fashion events, runway events um, from New York Fashion Week to Paris, Milan, London. So one of the big makeup trends that I've seen coming straight off the runways during Fashion Week is colorful mascara. Um, basically, uh, this is coming off of Prada. Prada uh, 2023, a lot of their models came down the runway with uh, pink, green, blue, even frosted eyelashes. Um, so that is something that I want to try. And I am so happy that I didn't have to look far to find a good colorful mascara because Yves Saint Laurent and Pat McGrath have just come out with some electric color uh, colorful mascaras that I just could not wait to try. So I have the Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara. Now I have this in the shade Electric Blue. Look how vibrant that is. Now the Lash Class, Lash Clash line, they do have other um, mascaras. They have the traditional black, and then they also have a brown, but this blue is a new addition to that lineup, and I just, y'all, I just could not wait to try. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm not gonna talk too much more. Let's go ahead and try it and see if this works. So try to come just a little bit closer uh, so you guys can see uh, my light. Okay. So, now this is not a first impression. I have worn this one other time because I could not wait um, <laughs> until I did a video. So, I'm gonna be using an eyeshadow primer this time. The first time I used it, I did not use an eyeshadow primer. So, that's what we're gonna do today. And then at the end, I'll, I'll give you my critique on whether an eyeshadow primer is a good option or not. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just go in with the primer. You know, the eyeshadow primer is just to pretty much, it's just like a primer for your makeup. It's just to condition your lashes, straighten them out a little bit. Now this is supposed to give you a good color payoff on the first stroke. And I'm calling this a first stroke. Um, you can go up to five strokes. Um, this claims to give 200% increase in volume in your lashes. Um, it's gonna give just this extreme volume and it lasts for 24 hours. Um, can you imagine that, 24 hours? So I will go ahead and say, when I wore this, I didn't wear it for 24 hours, but I wore it more than eight hours and my lashes were pop, pop like all day long i'm gonna go in with one more because we're gonna we're gonna use the five strokes okay we're gonna go in again I consider this to be two strokes. <laughs> so I guess for me, the strokes is anytime I dip back into the product. I see that. Now, one thing I will say about this mascara, as you're putting it on, you can definitely feel the, the product on your eyelashes, it feels kind of heavy, but once it dries down, you don't feel it anymore. It's very light. Even with five, five brush strokes or five um, applications, um, it, it does feel heavy at first, but then it dries down and then you don't really feel it. So that's four, I believe. 
So we're gonna just let this dry down and let's start on these, the other eye. We're gonna have to do this. I forgot to put the primer on, but we're gonna do it now because I really want to see if this primer works because I forget that I have eyelash primer. This one. I consider that to be four. <laughs> no, three. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna let that side dry because what I like to do with my mascara um, is once I put it on, I like to let it kind of dry down and then go back in with another coat and just kind of stretch it out. So that's what we're gonna do on this side. Let's see if it's dry. It is definitely dry, so I get that little pull, that little tug. That's what I like. And this is five coats on this eye. We're gonna let this dry just a little bit, but in the meantime, we're gonna work on the bottom lashes. I'm not gonna do any primer on the bottom lashes because I really don't put a lot of product, but we're just gonna. All right, so we're gonna go back in and just see if this side is dry so we can get that pull. I get that pull just a little bit. I could have let it dry just a little bit more, but. All right, so this is our colorful mascara using the Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara in the shade Electric Blue. What do you guys think? I think it looks really, really pretty. So this is, like I said, this is not my first time wearing the mascara. Um, when I first wore it, I did not use a primer. And um, even after five coats, it still, it looked really nice, but it did give me a little bit of that clump clumpy look which is fine for me because I don't mind a clumpy lash I don't mind a clumpy spiky exaggerated lash um, I like that look and it definitely gave me that but I can see with the primer if you don't like that if you use the eyelash primer but you still want that heavy mascara look um, I think you know it'll work better for you if you use a primer just to give you that seamless long lash look i do feel like now the claim of the 200 percent volume i do feel that i do see that i do enjoy that i i really really like it so all right guys so that is the colorful mascara let me know down below what you guys think and we're going to just go in with my second fall makeup trend for 2023 all right guys so for my second fall makeup trend for 2023 um this isn't anything i saw as far as fashion week but just reading fashion magazines i saw where chocolate browns chocolate brown lips chocolate brown eyes would be a trend for um, fall and uh, pretty much just still coming off that latte it's still all the same that latte look um, the natural look uh, sometimes they would even say it's considered a 90s look you know with the heavy brown lip liner with just some gloss or the heavy brown lip liner with your favorite nude lipstick so um, that is a trend. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today because I've been using my lip bar 
matte liquid matte lipstick this is the shade uh savage and i've been using this over the last few days and i absolutely love it i think i'm about to use it up so i need to go ahead <laughs> and probably purchase another one but it's really the only brown um new lipstick i have most of my lipsticks are colorful because i do like color um i do have the danessa myricks nude color fix in the shade 10 now you know this is one of those lip, lip cheek and eye products but this looks really good as a nude lipstick so i could go ahead and go with this or i could use this one but i'm going to go ahead with lip bar today and i think this is going to look really pretty so And what I like about, and what I what I like about the lip bar, this this shade Savage, um, is because it goes on and it feels very, it feels like a satin lipstick, but then it dries down to a, a really nice soft matte, and it wears pretty good throughout the rest of the day. My only complaint is that if you wear this daily, if this is like a daily look for you, you're gonna go through the product really fast because this little bitty thing, <laughs> look how little it is, so. But, um, it's a nice. Also, if you're gonna be wearing this liquid lipstick or any other liquid lipsticks, make sure you exfoliate your lips. I did not do that and I kind of see some areas. All right, guys so this is it this is um my one of my fall favorite fall looks for 2023 we have the colorful mascara with chocolate brown lips i absolutely love this now i'll go ahead and admit in my head i wanted to do an orange lipstick with the blue but i think this brown was a really good choice let me know down below what do you guys think are you trendy when it comes to makeup or do you just follow you know just the classic looks i consider myself to be typically a classy classic makeup wearer like the things that stay classic like a red lip um a really nice eyeliner mascara that's kind of my thing but i do like color and i don't want to be afraid to use color you know blue mess blue eyeshadow is one of my things and it just reminds me of the 70s that's when i grew up so i don't know so when i saw that colorful mascara was a trend and that eve saint laurent had this really beautiful electric blue i said i have to try it and y'all since i've tried this y'all are going to be sick of me when it comes to this mascara okay now on the flip side pat mcgrath is coming out with colorful mascaras as part of her bijou brilliance i think it's her holiday collection she has some really good mascaras it's that dark her dark star and i have the black i love the wand on that so i know just having that in these colors is going to be really really nice she has a really pretty red there's uh an allure azure which is a kind of like an aqua blue and then she has a really pretty hunter green i am going to be getting that hunter green because even with this i had to decide at the beginning when i first realized oh you know there are two big you know new colorful mascaras on the market which one should i buy and i start to come and do one of my which one should i buy but i have you guys tell me but i was like no because actually um the eve saint laurent was 29 dollars. the pat mcgrath was 34 dollars, and i know pat mcgrath is always having a sale so um i just i looked on nordstrom's website uh at the eve saint laurent and saw that it was already on sale for 24 dollars. So I went ahead and just picked that up. And I was like, this is the one I'm gonna go with, the Yves Saint Laurent. And plus, it's a luxury brand, and it's also a brand that I have never tried anything from them as far as makeup before. So I wanted to go ahead and just give it a shot and give it a try, and I am so happy. I really love this. Now, as far as colorful mascara, who is this for? I say this is for everybody. I say this is for anybody who wants just a pop of color in their makeup routine. Um, if you want to give your eyeshadow a rest, but you still want something going on with the eye. I kept my eyes neutral today using my Pat McGrath. 
I kept my eyes neutral today using my Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette. I just did a one wash of color all over the lid. This is one of the warm shades. I don't remember which one, but if you want to know which shade of uh, eyeshadow I have on, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll let you know. But um, yeah, so I just kept the eyelids neutral and just let the eyeshadow pop. Now, I did have some ideas in my head of how I can really amp this up and y'all will probably see that later. But that's it. And then again, with the chocolate brown, we know brown is a color for fall. I mean, you're not gonna have fall and not have brown be a part of your wardrobe, your makeup, your furnishings or what have you. Brown is gonna be there. Um, so this brown savage lipstick from the lip bar was a perfect, perfect match for this look today. So y'all, I feel really good. I feel very fall-like. I feel on trend. Um, I just feel good. I feel pretty. So this looks really good. And you know, I got some new hair. I got my little afro and all is well with the world. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. I just wanted to come and just bring you, you know, these looks, let you know, you know, what is going to be on trend for fall if you're interested. Um, also just, you know, coming from me, more videos centered around fall makeup trends will be coming until we reach 10. So this is two, two down. We got eight more to go. So I have a lot of work ahead of me. So just stay tuned. Um, and yeah, don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so, so you can see all of the looks I come up with and then come back for the next video. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.